So uh, let me uh, talk about how the user interface of this radio works. So first you will see that this, uh, the entire user interface of this radio is uh, dark and I have kept it that way so that it is easier on the eye if you are going to be using it for a long duration of time. So um, now this part here, this part here is, uh, is the basic controls of a radio that you will find on the most vintage of radios. So there is audio control, there is IF control, uh, drive, bandwidth, AGC, the span of this uh, waterfall display, VFO A, B, split on and off in case you are doing uh, split frequency, receiver incremental tuning and the tuning step rate. For example, now it is at 1K. So when I turn this knob, it will, uh, you see the frequency will turn uh, and change by 1 kilohertz steps or I can actually uh, put it down to even 10 hertz. So uh, I just touch that control and from this function knob here, I can make this go up and down. Okay, so uh, let me, that's, uh, that's right now on SSB. And on the corner here is the mode control. So right now it's on low, uh, LSB and I can keep changing it to uh, different modes. And these are the band switches. Uh, and on each band it has got four memories. So now it's on 40 meters. Uh, and if I touch this again, you will see that it has gone to 40, uh, 7040, which is a QRP calling frequency. And the mode is now CW here. And if I uh, touch it again, you will see that it's now gone to 7074 and the mode is USB and I can so uh, I can keep going between these four different uh, stacks of frequencies on each band um, and this part here these this part here is actually the logger uh, where I can put in the call uh, and and the the sent and received uh, reports and just press log and it will get logged. Let me try uh, logging a dummy control here like that. So let's say uh, it is VU to AAP, my friend Amar, if I have had a call with him and uh, he was 59 and I was 57 at his end and then I just say log and you will see here that this has been logged. And I'll show you how to get onto the log, uh, to see the log later on. But the log is inbuilt into it. So it automatically picks up the mode and uh, the frequency, etc. And, and the time and puts it all onto the log, onto the log book. So um, those are the basic controls. And I can make the keyboard go away, of course. Uh, depending on the mode uh, that you are in from here, the rest of the screen will change. For example, right now we are uh, on, uh, on SSB and uh, I have transmit receive buttons here. So I can, let me just show you this. So I can, okay, I'm on a, now I can start transmit here. So it's on transmit. Uh, I'm too far away, so it's not picking up my audio, but there is actually a built-in mic here, which can pick up the audio and uh, transmit me, and then I can go back to receive. Uh, and then uh, you will see that there's nothing else which is here except for the mic gain control, of course. But if I change this to, let's say, CW, you will see that this entire thing has changed now and it's trying to decode the noise as if it were a CW signal. I have got words per minute for the keyer, the pitch control, CW delay, uh, CW, etc. I mean, all, 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 all the CW uh, controls are here and the macros are here as well. And these macros keep changing depending on the mode that you are in. So that's the general overview of this uh, radio. Uh, and in the following videos, I'll get down to uh, more specific ways of using this radio.